Local labor market data are important because you may uh, find that in the nation we have plenty of welders, but if we're looking to locate in Charleston, South Carolina, where Volvo has just opened a plant and Rolls-Royce is opening their second um, phase of a plant, there may not be as many welders or machinists that you need. So it's important not only to look at a local area, but to look at a drive time analysis. So with a 30 minute drive time, are we gonna find the welders we need? Are we gonna find the machinists that we need? When you're working with a site selector or an expanding firm, you want to make sure that you can show you have the pipeline. So not only do you want to show there are enough welders or there are enough um, machinists or there are enough um, finance people, but you need to show that given the number that are retiring, you're gonna have enough to replace them. Uh, if you don't have enough, you need to be able to show, well, there are other people in my region that have similar skills that can be upskilled to move into that job. And then finally, it's important to show that you have a pipeline of workers. So the community colleges and the um, colleges, are they graduating enough people with the skills that I need to make sure that my firm is going to have amp an ample workforce for many years to come? You can go to some websites and pull down information and data and it's a pretty website, but can you really trust the data? So it's very important to know that you have good people, uh, data governance teams behind the data, making sure that it's cleansed and it's as good as possible. Uh, one data set that we've worked with is the USAspending.gov, so contract award data, um, Department of Defense and federal spending. And there's a lot of errors in it that we find ourselves having to clean um, before it's really usable. So it's important to have, not only to have data at a county level, in a regional level, but also to be able to go down and pinpoint a site, a local address, and get a 30 mile drive time or a 50 mile drive time to get the most accurate assessment of the workforce. You don't want to oversell your region because by doing that, um, an economic, uh, an expansion may come to your region that ends up failing um, and it's not good for the overall region. We have worked with site selectors before who have um, identified different addresses where they might locate and we looked at some of their historical places where they already did locate and we did a, an assessment of well how well should that plant have done given the workforce and in one case in particular that I'm thinking of, we found that that site did not have the workers that they needed. We asked them about it and they said that, in fact, that was a very difficult startup because we were not finding the workers. And this was in an area where there were bridges, there are tunnels, it could be there are mountains or lakes. And so if you just use a county or a couple of counties as your labor shed, it gives very misleading results and it overstates the population that you can expect. Okay, the only other thing that I would say is that um, it's important to have a group of people that have, it's important to work with a group of people who see data as their passion, not just a group of salespeople who want to you know, sell a product, but people who want to give you the best information possible so you can make the best decisions. And that kind of background in a company is very important in terms of shaping a final product that consumers, that educators, that economic developers and workforce officials use in making decisions.